Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have a back to basics episode where you know what sometimes as a tech guy or even as a tech enthusiast we just don't you know see that some people have difficulty with even the basic things in Windows and in the computers. And one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do I create a Microsoft account? I don't understand how to create that. And um, I've had many, many people actually ask me that. So um, basically, you have two ways of creating a Microsoft account. You can go into Windows and in the user accounts, if you actually use you know, the feature to uh, change to a Microsoft account or to create a new account, you have the options like the person I want to have doesn't have email address you can click there and it's actually gonna bring you this little uh, account box this is where you will have all the possibility of creating one if you want one and especially here get a new email address if you want to have a uh, Hotmail Outlook or so on you see it adds automatically here at out Outlook.com so this is how you'll actually fill up this and um, continue on to the account settings. Another thing that you might actually want to do, and it's another way of actually doing it, and this video will focus more on that, actually, that uh, way of doing it, is doing it on the web. If you go on the web and go to hotmail.com or outlook.com, so let's do a hotmail.com, you'll be sent to the page where you actually have um, the login page for any email address of Outlook or Outmail or MSN. And if you go down that page, you'll have sign up now available and you click that. And you'll have a form to fill up with your name, username and so on. So um, basically what you'll want to do is just fill up all the information. Um, if that account is an important one for you it is important that you answer correctly all the questions some people have problems with this saying well they ask a lot of personal questions but most of that is mostly for um, you know security if your account gets hacked um, you have a way with your personal questions of you know getting your account back another thing is uh, having a phone number. A lot of people say, well, why should I give my phone number? Well, that's another security feature is that if your account gets hacked once again, once again, you can actually uh, get your account back with a security code that will be uh, sent to you either by text if you have a um, cell phone or a smartphone or even by voice if you have a landline and don't have any text capability you'll be able to uh, receive a voice message that's going to tell you a secret code that only you knows. So, you know, fill up that form and just click at the bottom, create account. One of the biggest problems probably you'll have is choosing a good email address that nobody has already chosen. That's something that a lot of people don't actually understand is the fact that here, if you enter just your name, it probably going to be rejected unless you have a very unusual name because millions of accounts out there exist and there are people that have the same name as you have and you'll need to be very very creative in doing an account here so you know add numbers add all sorts of details that can help you with that type of account creation and you know what if something is not available or if something is wrong it's going to tell you it's going to tell you that this or this is no good or this email address is already taken so um, you know check that out create your account and once the account is chosen all you need to do is remember that email address and that password that you've entered and please don't enter one two three four five six as a password that is not a password and if you do that you'll be act pretty sure in the next months create a very very complex password and make sure that you use that as a password. And um, you know what? You can turn on two-factor authentication. I've got that on all my accounts. Uh, if somebody tries to enter my account, I immediately 
will be notified and immediately the only way to actually unlock it is to have that secret code that I got on my phone. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, about the web, about maybe an error message that you got, why not share it with us and we'll try to help you if we can. And uh, you know what? Subscribing to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online and we post tons of videos. Give us thumbs up if you have, uh, if you like our videos, it helps us on the ratings on YouTube. And thank you for watching.